Mm. Okay. Now, unfortunately, no real ranged options here with uh, Anadine. Rage options, not those either, but ranged is what I really meant. Uh, uh, hmm. Ooh, gotta be careful with Anadine, she can't swim, so gotta watch. I don't think anyone will be able to get around in time to knock her in the water, but... Gotta play it cool. I wish I had more MP, we could do one, one for all right now. But, no chance. Okay, um... Ooh, the character cannot be displaced. Maybe it means uh, Kyrie, but I'll put that anyway, just to protect Kyrie in case any hits are coming our way. Now, now let's get here, and I should be able to do emboldening chant. Yeah, I get these two. Ready to do a little bit more damage. Now Lana actually is going to go over here because we, I don't think I didn't see this. We can get a free noodle fruit from this tree, so we'll just do that. Can't quite reach. Poison reach is pretty far, but even that, like, just just can't quite. So let's instead mm, just put a big old mass of thorns on us. I already used on Kyrie. Not didn't think this one through, but oh well. That's Racker Jack moves in. Ooh, the range on this thing. Oh, because it shoots out blades. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> this thing's name is Deathcore. That's a little extreme. Ow! Well, we're in the fur ball now. Everyone's just down here. Okay. So, no point knocking this thing, because it, like, can swim. Harvester can't, but I can't get into the right position to knock it down. So, instead... I guess we're going aggro with some back attacks. Then. Hold on. Um, no resistances in particular, except silences. Okay. What does Versatile do? Allow skills and spells to inflict critical hits. Uh huh, and they regain some MP. Okay, deadly. I've gotta know that then. But, uh, yeah, uh, let's just stabificate. Sonic boom! Ooh, Anadine is getting piled on here. Uh, let's see, where can I get here? 60? Side attack will do... 68, okay. 71, probably just focus on taking these enemies out, but what if I use some of my wacky items? My Electro Constrictor. Probably not a good use. It's it's already here in the Fruhaha, so let's just focus on bringing its HP down at this point, I think. Nothing fancy, just... <laughs> I feel bad beating up these silly, silly things. Uh, okay. Can I hit from this slope? I can. Any other tricks I could do? Not in particular, I think... I think going into melee just is the right move here. Deny this Racker Jack next. Oof, no bleed. Unlucky. It's a fleet of foot. Now, can Lana get in and heal Anadine, who is really hurting? Oh, yeah. In fact, that's crazy, the range there. Oh, my God. When did I get this much range? I could hang out all the way back here. Yeah, and just get this heal right there. 
There we go. Okay. Next wacky move. Normally I don't do this with Rude, but uh, opportunities do good. Just straight up poison burst. None of them have poison immunity. Let's see how this does. Alright, one of them's poisoned. I'll take it. Ow, good magic counter. Good to know. Oh, you bully! Oh! I mean, you know, it's what I would have done in that case as well, but oh no. Ah, ah, oh god, oh no. So, this thing can't swim? Did it work? It super worked. What an ignominious end to this incredibly scary monster, but so it goes, I guess. Center ourselves a little there. Ow! That, that was quite the punch on my eardrums, that sonic boom. Alright, Hatman. Hatman, man, that thing, that animal is fast. Uh, can I, that that racker jack? Can't reach him, so I gotta instead put a heal bot down to save Lana. In fact, actually, yeah, I'm not gonna beat the racker jack this turn. Like, look at this. I just can't reach it. The only one is if I could like chuck a rock at it, then that would be enough. 79, but only 40? Yeah, no. So here's what we actually gotta do. Look at this, these smart moves. Oh, can I actually... How far can does that reach? My god, that reach is far. I want to maintain, like, a fair distance. Yeah, there we go. This is the right move to do in this situation. Yeah, even Racker Jack's like, yep. Oh boy. Let's see if we can't do something about Racker Jack here. Holy, that's so much holy damage that it does. Not enough to kill. Yeah, maybe, maybe just like remove its buff. Not that it's super important at this point, but I don't know, let's do it. Adios, with your fleet of foot. I mean, yeah, it's not super important because we are in now this, like, scrim here where everyone's, like, all close up here, so... Not super important to our gameplay anymore. Okay, um... I think this is the right move because they are really hurting those two. I don't know if I can position this really well. Oh no, I don't have enough points for heal burst. Never mind. Okay. Can I kill the racker jet? No, I can't kill it. So instead, we just gotta gotta try and keep our health up. That'll remove bleed, right? Yeah, I think that does. Yeah. Okay. Good. So Hatman's at least doing okay. Now, question is, can we survive what this guy's bringing us? Bonk. The doot on these new watts. Oh my god, so much damage. She's such a beast. There we go. Yeah, this went incredibly clean. It was totally fine bringing half and half, like I said. Well, actually, no, I shouldn't say that yet. Look at this health situation here. About to get... ...crunked. In fact, doesn't she still have bleed on her? Yeah, she still has bleed on her. Did this remove... 
grants renew, which will counter bleed, kind of. Oh, this guy's almost dead. Let's just, yeah. Let's do this. Whack! Oh no! Curse you! Yeah, so I got uh, instead. Um... Oh no! I forgot that she doesn't have first aid because I don't have the mercenary skills on her. So we have to do it the lamer way, which is use a potion. It's not lame, but you know. Now, what were the weaknesses of these guys? They do not like Earth. Don't have Earth on me. Nope. Just this. Let's just... Yeah, let's... I, I mean, I'm playing it a little too safe here, I think. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. Let's just keep our health up. Nice and up with everybody. So there we go. And now you, sir. A little overkill. Not enough kill. So, let's just... Eh, I think that's exactly enough kill. There we go. Very good. I hope they don't have any, like, knockback moves, because now Lily is sitting right there for a knockbackening. Should I just heal up Hatman? Maybe I just, like, you know. Yeah, maybe we just do this for now. Just just to play it safe, because even though we're, we're going to win this, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I want to, like, incur any injuries on anybody. So let's, let's play it a little slow. Yeah. Only 51 now, okay. Chunky defense on this thing, maybe? I don't know. So what was... We got Electroconstrictor, Sorber Plus, Harmonizer. No point knocking it down because it can swim. So maybe just good old-fashioned hammer to the side of the head. Thunk. And let's make a little space for Anadine, who's about to walk in with the... Uh, Scythe Swing. So let's see, Enraged Blow does a whopping 93, but then we also have the Heavy Defensive Hit. Not enough. And Heavy Hit with this health... No, no, yeah, no, no point. So let's just freak out with the Enraged Blow. Ah! And can we finish this? Oh, look how sad it looks at low health, that thing. It's like, oh, I don't know if I can keep playing this trumpet. Oy. Goodbye. Whew, a clean fight. Incredibly clean. A couple of scary spots when that Racker Jack snuck up on, on, uh, Lily, not Lily, um, Lana, but, uh, otherwise. Very well done. Good job, everybody. I expect some kind of welcoming party inside, so be on guard. Anadine! I don't think I can enter the temple. I feel strange, sick, and it keeps getting worse as I get closer to the door. The dark energies corrupting Anadine are reacting to the relic within the temple. You had best wait in town, young lady. Yes, I think Yates is right. This close to the entrance, I can barely stand. There's no way I can enter. Darn. 
I could have really used her in the party, but, you know, I, she's not going to be of help if she's in mobile, so you're just going to have to sit this one out, Danadine. Sorry. All right, head back to town and rest. We'll be along shortly. Yates, we need your expertise. This relic has to tell us something. I will do what I can. I'm wondering if I should actually, you know... You know, the level range is here, it's level 11 to 16. I wonder if I should actually, you know, not have characters above that, just so, you know, slightly lower level characters also, you know, gain XP. Like, you know, did, did Anadine really need to level up right now, honestly? When we could have had, like, someone who's, like, level 14 or 15 here, like Durzo, also get a little bit of uh, leveling up, you know? You know, you get my drift there? So, like, well, Anadine's out now, so, but, you know, I m might have been, like, leave her out because she's level 17 now, and 16 is the max anyway in this area right now. Now it's 12 to 19 here at the Kidna Falls because things are ex accelerating, but, uh, you know, later on. Anyway, we do have some time here, so I'm gonna do leveling up and shopping for supplies, and we will hit, we will hit up the temple still today once I've done all of that, so, um... Catch you in a hot second, everybody. Okie dokie, everybody. I think we are ready to roll into that jungle temple. Let's go over some changes to the party. Lily maxed out as a Templar, so... Since... Here's the situation. There's two... Classes that she could aim for unlocking. Just to review. Well, actually three if you count this, but this one's quite a ways off, so maybe later. There's this one, which is Templar 5, Scoundrel 4, which appears to be that Viking character. I think it's called a Reaver. That would be really fun to have in the party. But there's also this, which is Knight 3, Wizard 3. So she needs to hit Scoundrel 4 and Wizard 3. And as it happens, she's only one level away from hitting Wizard 3, while she's two from hitting Scoundrel 4. So she's going to first do that Wizard level. And then we're gonna get that scoundrel done, and then we'll have both of those classes unlocked. And if I have to make room in the party, I will kick tail out. There's still some slots here for people to stand next to Hatman, though, so it should be good for now. Uh, let's see, uh, Rurud was all... Yeah, Rurud became a maximum plague doctor, right? Did she? Did I imagine any? Yeah, so I decided... I scratched my head on what to do. We decided to get, make her a wizard to give her more offensive capabilities. Uh, same thing with Durzo, actually. Made him a wizard, too. Um, yeah, actually, is that a bad idea to have a couple of... A wizard and uh, two wizards? I, I don't know. I was scratching my head, like, maybe... Maybe Scoundrel instead? Uh, it's a hard choice. I don't know. I think I think wizard for both is, actually, is a good move. So I'll, I'll just let those be there. That's about all the important ones. Everyone else got a little bit of moves. Anadine has a uh, really cool... She now has a AoE called Wrathful Burst. Cool. Good stuff. Nothing else crazy to report. Oh, I have not been doing any crafting. I forgot to do it earlier as well. Goodness. Okay, so... Heavy Potion. Yeah, that's a, I think that's that's a different item from just a potion, I assume. In which case, yeah, 150, not bad. Wayfarer treads, a polyvalent sporting shoe, good for a variety of activities. I don't actually know what polyvalent means. Oh, oh, it's it's like a balanced thing. It gives decent defense and decent jumping, not as good as Impala, but as good as the Toad Boots, and some extra movement. So it's just an all altogether good, good item. Very good. Oh, but hold on, we got a bunch of shields down here. Interesting. Let's make the those treads first. Who should I give those to? Maybe Hatman. He's got flippers on. Maybe Durzo. Make him just a, no, but he's already got a bunch of stuff. Okay. Um, Lana has also a bunch of stuff. Well, actually, let's just... This is better than the running treads, this uh, 
this, uh, what Jismus calls it. When did I get this by the Bandit's Glove and Clarity Band? When did I get those? I completely forget when I got those, but okay. You got the Wayfarer Treads. Uh, you can have the... You got Toad Boots, okay? No, 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 no. Keep hovering over that Dismiss all scarily. Oh, you don't have anything on you. Let's give you the Bandit's Glove then, because you do do GP stealing every once in a while. He's got the Toad Boots. You could use some Wayfarer boots. Uh, no, sorry, uh, running treads, actually. Finally, this Clarity Band. I guess you don't have anything, Anadine, so I'll give it to you. To calm emotions. No Berserk, I guess, is that symbol there. I guess, sure. Actually, no. Yates could really use that. Yeah, because he's a healer as well. I'd hate to have a healer become unable to do that job, so... Okay. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. We were done making items. Come the heck on now. In fact, I could make some more of these basic items. Wow. Wow. But first, let's make a shield. Let's make a thunder shield. Oh, I did start getting elemental items, by the way. Kyrie has the flame spike. Reiner has a stone spike. And Lily has a thunder rod. Now that she's a wizard, for the time being. Is that a two-handed weapon? It is. Okay, so no shield for her. Gold shield there. Bronze shield here, and let's put the thunder shield. Yeah. Turns lightning into healing energy. Hot damn. As far as I can see, it's not like it causes you to have vulnerabilities in another area, so really, just a really good item to have. No, I hit the wrong button again. I still want to keep making items, because we still have all of these. But do I want to make any of these anymore? I don't know. Do I need more? These items, I don't, I, I don't know. Everyone's like, who is empty? Okay, we could make something for Virgil at least. And Anadine. Okay, Virgil and Anadine. Let's make something for those two. Oh yeah, no gadgets, I guess. Need some Myco leather to make this molecular infuser. Which is just a buff item, okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, you can have... Wait, you can use a shield? Really? You can use a shield? Okay. Druids can use shields. All right, then. Good thing I found that out. You can have the running treads. And Nanadine can have... The, the flippers. Yeah, just to make sure that she doesn't get knocked down. You know. Little insurance for that. Okay, I think we are going to be ending on a cliffhanger today. So hold on, let me just save the game here because... Um, don't want to get stuck in a cliffhanger. Because we don't really have time here to go into... No, wait, hold on. Yes, we do. We have a little bit. Let's see how it goes. Let's walk in there. Jungle Temple. Now, yeah, we didn't really see what happened with those two characters, but we saw two figures walk out from here before all those monsters showed up. Probably they wouldn't show that if that wasn't, like, an important thing. I don't know, but we didn't follow up on it. But we'll see. Let's see what goes on here first. I believe, yeah, are these going to be the Sigil guys? We'll see, they're not so very friendly at least. You, Macht, turn around and leave this place, or we will be forced to stop you. You would interfere with my pilgrimage? Why? I, uh, we... <clears throat> we are part of Sigil. 
We have taken control of the temple in the name of the cause. The people shall be freed from the yoke of the immortals. That's as maybe. But we have our own reasons to be here, and we aren't leaving. You leave us no choice, then! Everyone, remember our training. Guard the relic. Disable the enemy as you can, but no killing. Not what you'd call hardened killers, eh? Just youths with a cause. A tad overzealous, perhaps. We still have to reach the relic. Pass the word around to go easy on them. Mm. Yeah, right, let's see what their levels are. I'll see how easy I go on them then. Understood. So, what is this setup we are dealing with here? Oops, no, not that button. I always screw it up. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Yeah, no, come on. Level 15. Level 14. 14. 15. 16 Antoine there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go easy. This is gonna be a throwdown. Are we gonna get hurt if we walk on that grill there? Is it just a funny feature of the area? This area feels really cramped. It also feels like a reverse of that time we attacked the first temple. You know, we were climbing up that hill on the outside. Now we're descending down on these poor sods. Yeah, there's that auto crossbow, so he can hit a lot of people in a cone, I believe. And that's not great. I don't even know what Mystic Shield is. Interesting. Got a gunner here with a nail gun. Oh, no. They're not nice, those gunners. Proper ass mercenary, a knight. Falcon Flourish! Drew it with a rapier. Interesting. Oof. They've got good gear. This is gonna be a wild ride. Do I want to do this one half and half like I did the previous one? I don't know. Well, I really don't want to get into this now, even though this will mean the episode is a little short. So we're gonna pick up on this cliffhanger next time. But if I were to put in... Ah, uh, Tail. I think Tail's done for. I think I'm just gonna dismiss him. I, I just don't see him being a part of the crew. But if I were Kyrie, uh, Hatman, still level 16, yeah. Wait, we can have Anadine, but she wasn't supposed to be able to come here. Yeah, they're not gonna let us deploy Anadine, even though. She's there, you know, don't see Anadine there. Okay, good. So it's going to be, backing up uh, Kyrie. it's going to be Hatman and Durzo. And then Andre and... Uh, I think I need to have, I don't know, Lana. Durzo can do heals, but Lana as well, maybe. Andre and Lana, maybe. As our second, second like, backup. Or, you know, I'll try off-screen to do the Banyan span again. If I beat it this time, we might have some wounded people, which will change the shape up, and we might have some level differences, which will also change the shape up. Yeah, actually, yeah. So let's say I try to do the Banyan span refight patrol, and I'll tell you next time if anything new comes out of that, but um, yeah. For now, though, even though this makes the episode quite a bit shorter than I had hoped, I'm gonna call it here, because I don't this is going to take a while, this fight, so I'm just going to leave it for next time. Sometimes it goes that way. Hope you guys look forward to that grumble next time anyway. It should be good times. Catch you all then, guys. Goodbye!